Okay, today we're gonna put together a Google Ads keyword plan. I'm gonna give you an idea of the number of keywords you should have in your account, what kinds of keywords, how to organize them, and then once you have all those put together, how to upload them to Google Ads in a couple of clicks. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner for the last 10 years. So let's jump right in. I look at a lot of campaigns, and in fact, thousands of campaigns at this point. And one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is having way too many keywords in a campaign. So let's just start with an easy number. If I'm building out a campaign that's gonna be spending $1,000 a month, I'm probably only looking at 20 or fewer keywords. And I'm sure you're like, what, are you nuts? I don't want 20 keywords, I want all the keywords. Let me show you why that's an incorrect way of thinking. I presently have a campaign running that spends about $45,000 a month, and we actually only have 19 keywords in that campaign. Why only 19? because those 19 keywords convert. 80% of your business is going to come from 20% of your keywords. The whole goal is to figure out what the 20% of those keywords are, have 80% of your budget go to them, and then the rest of your budget is spent testing other keywords. I once took a look at a campaign where they were spending $1,500 a month took a look inside and that campaign had 26,500 keywords. After breaking down two years of data, only 350 of those keywords actually had even gotten clicks. To take it one step further, only 39 of those 26,500 keywords had ever had conversions. We actually took the best keywords that had conversions put them in a new campaign, and the campaign started off just like that. In fact, with all of those keywords, we figured that 75% of their budget was being wasted every single month. And let me give you a visual of why we start with so few keywords. Let's say you're fishing in a pond. Now, that pond has fish all over the place, but is it beneficial for you to go over and cast a line here, cast a line here, over here, over here, and kind of all over the place? Probably not. It's not very efficient. It takes you time to get from place to place. You wanna go where the pockets of fish are and you wanna spend the majority of your time there. In fact, you wanna spend 80% of your time there. The rest of the time you can go and cast a line over here and over here to see if you can find any more pockets. But the goal is to find that pocket of fish or group of keywords that's gonna drive 80% of your business. Also, when searching for keywords, you wanna make sure that you're concentrating on buying keywords. So for example, if you were a floor refinishing service, you don't wanna go after the keyword floor refinishing because people might be looking for floor refinishing images or oils or sanders or whatever it might be. You wanna be very specific. Floor refinishing companies, floor refinishing service, floor refinishing near me. Those are buying keywords. And inside your campaign, you can find keywords that might work for you simply by using the keyword planner just to get your ideas going. Go up to Tools and Settings, click on Keyword Planner, then select Discover New Keywords. Now here is a big tip for using the Keyword Planner that most people don't do. Underneath where you would enter in possible search terms, click on United States. Take that out of there and click in the area that you're working in. So I happen to live in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area. I'm just gonna search for that. We see Minneapolis-St. Paul, I'm just gonna target that area. Because if you keep it at the United States level, it's gonna show you the average cost per click. It's gonna show you the average number of searches a month for the entire country. And those will not be the numbers for your area. You can click on save that, and you can type in some sample keywords. Now this will only let you enter in 10, but let's say we have a floor refinishing service. I might type in floor refinishing service and floor refinishing just to get some ideas and get results. And here we can see the volume, we can see the average cost per click, we can see if there's any changes and the competition. But for our service, we wanna to stick to buying keywords. Service would be a buying keyword. Cost, sometimes that works, but a lot of the times is people just literally looking for a cheaper price. So they don't always convert as well. But floor refinishing near me, hardwood floor refinishing near me, hardwood floor repair, if you do that, if you do floor sanding, you see what I mean? These are keywords that people are typing in if they're looking to buy. Sanding hardwood floors would not be because some people might be just looking at how to do it themselves. But you get the idea. So we're gonna take a number of these keywords and we're gonna put them into a keyword spreadsheet. So if you go over to the right hand side, this particular keyword top of page bid may run you $11.92, but the low range is 207. These are averages. These are taking all of the averages from the really good marketers and the really poor marketers and putting them into a number. Now, this is key. Just because it says it's $11 to get a click at the top of the page 
does not mean you will pay that. It just means you might have to bid that much. There are a ton of instances in our campaigns where it says we have to bid up to $30 for a keyword. We will do that because we're telling Google, listen, we want to compete for this keyword, but in actuality, once we get clicks, we're only paying somewhere in the $15 range. So just because that number says 11 or 12 or $13 does not mean that you will pay that. Just make sure you set your campaign up correctly. So I just put together a quick little list of keywords. So what I wanna do first, I wanna put all these in like ad groups, meaning that all of the keywords are talking about the same thing. I don't want floor refinishing in the same ad group as somebody talking about floor sanding because we're going to be writing our ads to reflect the keywords. So we want to have like keywords in the same ad group. An easy way to do that is simply just do this and you can go to data, sort range, A to Z. So you can see it put them in floor refinishing, floor sanding, sandless refinishing. Now let's name these ad groups. We're gonna put all the floor refinishing keywords in the floor refinishing ad group, floor sanding keywords in the floor sanding ad group, in the sandless keywords in a sandless ad group. Now we will typically always start a campaign using phrase match keywords. Not all the time, but exact match keywords are typically more expensive and you will get less search traffic. But with phrase match keywords, what we're telling Google is, listen, if you find people looking for this service and typing something different in, but it's close, we want you to show our ad. So we will take phrase and put it next to all of these. Now max cost per click. This can be all over the board, but what I want to do is give just an average number that I'm going to use for these keywords just to start them out. So for example, if I'm in a really large metro area, they may have to be higher. However, if I'm in a smaller area, the keywords are probably going to cost you much less. Typically, I will start these around five to seven, maybe eight dollars just to get them started. And Google will tell you if they're not going to show because the bids are too low. This is just a starting point. So I'm gonna start all these keywords with a bid of $7.01. Now real quick, I go over everything I know about Google Ads in my Google Ads course and agency course. You can check that out at Ads Agency Unlocked. There's a link in the description. Now I know this may not seem like a lot of keywords, but it's actually advantageous to start it with fewer keywords because let me show you what you can do. As your campaign gets running, you can click on keywords and you can go to search terms and you can see other search terms because they're phrase match that Google is showing our ads for. Hardwood floor refinishing, Minneapolis floor refinishing, wood floor sanding near me. Now, just because a keyword gets a click does not mean it's a good one. We wanna look for keywords that are getting a good amount of clicks, but also conversions. If they're getting a good cost per conversion for our campaign, we might add them to our campaign. So phrase match keywords will pull in and kind of grab like keywords. But this is why we only upload a limited number of keywords. We're going to let Google and the data show us what's going to work best. Now, a real quick way to upload these keywords to Google is using Google Ads Editor. Just go to Google, type in Google Ads Editor, click on it, and you can download it to your computer. It is a free download. Now, the best way to do this is to actually create your Google Ads campaign inside of Google Ads itself before you upload these keywords. With the editor, you wanna tell Google where to upload them to and make sure that all the settings in your campaign are correct. So inside your campaign, go to the campaign level, click on plus, click on new campaign. I'm not gonna walk you through all of these exact settings, but I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. When you get down to the campaign, name it something that you're going to remember. In this instance, we're gonna call it search campaign. You set your bidding however you want. Now, I'm not gonna walk through all of the settings, but once you get to the bottom, you're gonna click on next. It's gonna ask you for an ad group, but you don't have any yet. So we're just gonna click the trash can. Yes, remove. Then we're gonna to go to our budget, put your budget in for the day, click on next, and it says your campaign is almost ready to publish. Click on publish campaign. You'll get a warning that it can't run without ads. Just click on publish. Go back to the campaign level, and you will see the campaign we created here. Make sure you hit pause. It obviously can't run without keywords and ads, but just make sure that you hit pause. So we have our campaign created here. Make sure you remember this name that you created. Then you're gonna open up your ads editor. Now, it'll probably ask you to log in, but if you don't and you see this, just click accounts, click add, and it's gonna have you go in through the sign-in process. Then it's gonna ask you if you wanna download a campaign. Click yes. So we can see here's our campaign. We're gonna highlight it and we're gonna click on open. We're gonna just download all campaigns and we can see the search campaign that we built is... 
that dog is going to be the end of me. So we're going to remember search campaign. We're going to go back to our spreadsheet and we're going to make sure that that campaign is named exactly the same. Make sure it is case sensitive. So if it's capitalized when you built the campaign, make sure it's capitalized here. Otherwise, this will not work. So we're going to put it like that. All we have to do now is copy everything, including the headers. Copy them. Go back to your campaign. Click on the campaign itself. Click on this arrow next to keywords and then keywords. Make multiple changes. Click on my data uses columns for campaigns and or ad groups and click paste. It will paste everything there that you just put in. Click on process. You can see it's going to upload three ad groups that we created and nine keywords. Click finish and review. Keep and you're going to post this and it just moved all of those keywords up to your Google ads campaign with a click of a button. Now if we go into the search campaign you can see it's got ad groups and you might have to refresh your screen and it's got your keywords. So was that easy or what? So hopefully this helped you plan keywords for your campaign. If you like this video please hit the like button subscribe. It really helps us nice YouTube and helps us know what kind of content you guys want to see. And if you want Want this spreadsheet there is a link in the description area below where you can go and get that and yes it's free so if you want to see some more videos like this with some of our other spreadsheets tips and tricks over to the right hand side you will see some of those thank you very much for watching i do greatly appreciate it and we will see you next time